Good morning. It's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively. It may not be morning when you're watching this, but I have another project I want to do with the One Horse Open Sleigh. This is one of those online exclusive sets that you can get by going into the Stamp It Up website and you can put horse and sleigh. There's the One Horse Open Sleigh paper. There's also a set of dies that go with this and the names match so it's horse and sleigh it's an adorable set i'm going to use it with the um these are cards and envelopes they're called warm warm wishes you get 20 cards and envelopes for 14 dollars dang they're a deal so let me show you um what i did with it this one we used it at camp last month and we did the truck and just added some simple words at the bottom these cards and envelopes come full card and envelope total glitter i mean there's glitter all over it can you see that sparkle it's fantastic so i wanted to do it again and i really like this so for those of you who like christmas cards that are a little bit simpler and you don't have to have a ton to make them fantastic this is perfect for you so i put the words are Wishing you a season of cheer and a happy new year. It's the best. All right, let me show you how I did this. And don't overcomplicate it, friends. I have friends that like really, really complicated cards. Me, not so much. So this is a piece of um, basic white. It's five and a half by two and three quarters. This is when I really miss the shimmering white cardstock because I loved it for projects like this because it just put a little shimmer in the background and I loved it. I'm using Memento ink and I'm turning it over just to make sure that that's fully inked the way I want it to be. So I'm checking it all out. We're going to stamp this straight down. The other thing I like about this, and I'll show you this in a minute, is this one is perfect for my mini boss. Oh, look how well that stamps. Is that not beautiful? Should I zoom in? I don't know. So I, I waffle between zooming in and making myself nauseous because it's so close. Okay, so there you go. Mo Momentum ink, and now I'm gonna use my blends. So I have Dark Pool Party, and I used the Dark Pool Party to color their outfits. And um, you know, there's lots of blankets here and you could do it with a ton of detail. But again, my goal is to show you how to do it just a little bit simpler. So there is my dark pool party. I have um, a sweet sorbet marker because I just sometimes I need something just a little bit thinner. So I'm going to hit the top of that hat. Here is um, parakeet party. And I made her hat bright green because it made me laugh. I liked it. And then I used, um, this one is basic gray for the hoofs of the horse. Because again, I wanted them a little bit smaller than a blend. Um, not that we don't have the nub tip, but it's just a little bit easier for me. Okay, so those are my uh, markers and their blankets. And then for the sleigh, I decided to do Misty Mood Light because that's one of the colors in those um, cards and envelopes. So I'm going to color the whole sleigh Misty Mood Light. And so I don't mind a little white. Um, it, you know, I, I don't mind it. Some people can't stand a little bit of white. Again, it doesn't bother me. So I did the whole sleigh in light Misty Moonlight. Now I'm going to go along and do the dark on the edge. And I'm gonna darken up that edge. And, and again, I chose those colors because they matched the sleigh, or matched the paper. I went over the edge a little bit here, so I'm just gonna darken that so there's not one spot where I went over the edge. Okay. Now I've got a crumb cake pony. Oh, so 
on my first one I did some of the reins and stuff in blue I'm gonna do it in red this time um, because it just didn't show up as much as I was hoping that it would okay so now here's my pony and I'm gonna do him um this is the dark crumb cake and I'm gonna do his body in the dark crumb cake and then his little feathers and tail and mane. I'm going to go about, go um, back and do it with a light crumb cake. And I just colored right over that red. If anybody gasp, I apologize because it won't hurt it. See, it just made it a little darker. Just a small little detail. Okay, now I'm going to go over with my light crumb cake and to his tail and the feathers on his feet and if you like to color in great detail cheers to you me sometimes I just want it done now I see that I missed one thing I missed his mitten and I made it red too okay so there's my color job now we're gonna unzoom it come up here friend unzoom and I am going to run it through my boss this is the mini boss and it fits in here perfectly because anything smaller than three inches fits through the mini boss. Can you see that? So I'm going to lay it right on here and everybody does this different. Some people like to put it on with a little washi tape. Some people like to put it on with a post-it note to make sure it lines up perfectly and stays where it's supposed to be. Everybody does it a little different. You will find if you watch, follow me or come hang out with me, I am not that person. <laughs> we all have our good, bad, and ugly. I, if it's a little bit off, I'm just not bothered by that. Okay. Mini boss for the win. And there's my horse and sleigh. Is that not the best? Okay, so now I'm going to attach it to the front of my card. And all I did with him was I put him on because he fits right across the front. And I just put him on. I took those sides of those dimensionals that I, you know, right? Those ones that we end up with. And I'm going to put them all around on him. Oh, let's take him off that. Look, he fits right in there. So cute. And so the Wink of Stella, because I didn't have my shimmering white paper, I'm gonna make part of the sparkle. I'm gonna do a little bit of the hat and a little bit of the sleigh. I'm not gonna color the whole thing because sometimes I don't think it needs it. I'm gonna put his tail and mane and some of his hoofs. So when you tilt it to the light, you'll see a little bit of sparkle without the whole thing being sparkly. And now I'm gonna add my words. My favorite words to use for camp are photopolymer because then you all don't rock them because I have a rocking crowd. And it's way harder to rock and get the edges on a photopolymer than it is on the red rubber. So then in here, I'm gonna put in a happy new year. I want that to dry, so I'm gonna, look how cute that is. And then the other thing that you can do is we have these beautiful snowflakes that are online exclusive, and you can add these to your card. You can put some of those white snowflakes up there. It's got so much sparkle, you don't have to have it but it's just so pretty. So pretty. All right, friends. It, it, you can't get any simpler than that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'll be happy to respond. I even put on my Christmas shirt for you. Um, I doubt that I'll wear it all day, but I did put it on for the video. So let me show you again. I'm gonna move. I've seen enough of me. Okay, so here's two. There's one with the truck. 
and I did a video on this so you can go back and look at that if you want to and then one with the horse and sleigh all right friends thanks for joining me have a fantastic day